What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and oh my god. Okay, so we were playing Locals today. Locals just ended and uh, we played in this. It was round two, right? When we played? Yeah, round two. All right, so I thought it was just Crystal Beast. He hits me with the, it's 60 card Crystal Beast and it's saucy. Do you, do you want to show him the sauce real quick? Show him the sauce. Bro, it's Horus Crystal Beast. And it's absolutely insane how much it synergizes. I know you'll talk about it, so I don't want to talk about it too much, but it's crazy. So I'm gonna let you get into it. Let's go. Sure. So I've been playing Crystal Beast for a while, but I've been smoking up some really fun lists. Synchros, Horus, man, Advanced Dark, Purus, not like crazy builds, but this is probably the most fun build and most, honestly, unbricky build since Crystal Beast have, do have one issue. The names. The names. The if you see right here, we have lots of, not him actually. I would count this as a garnet. We have lots of bricks. Lots of bricks. Like we have way too many bricks. Yeah. It's not fun to hold all these bricks, unfortunately. But honestly, with horse stuff, it solves all the issues. Yo, and and uh, it's probably on the feature match. If you guys haven't seen the feature match, you can check it out. Spanko duels. But you guys are gonna see the kind of boards that this deck can make, and it's absolutely insane. What did you draw? Like twelve cards? <sighs> Saruja. I didn't even need to draw. I just I just coach came for my full combo. Uh, I just plussed off everything. Imsetti I draw. Like, I think you draw like seven, eight cards, which seven, is absolutely that, yeah. I was able to search through cards too if that counts as drawing, so that's even better. That's even better. Yeah. All right, so let's get right into it. All right. Cool. So Chris, we have one goal. It's a combo off. Okay. Uh, starting off, three Sapphire Pegasus. Pegasus is the bread and butter. Easy rank four. Your starter. It's your everything. It's your favorite yep. horsey. I don't need to explain too much. You run three. If you run two, then you're bad. Yep. Next card, the best card in the deck is... Uh, we pull up the Carbuncle. Yeah. Uh, people opt to run one, but I like to run two because Bistules are coming back in the meta slowly. And sometimes you can bait out stuff from the graveyard, but you might have one in the hand. Uh, also, this makes Beacon live. So if you dump out one, at least you have Beacon live for a possible like uh, soul charge from the back row. So and I like the running two. This to draw is also not bad because if you have it with Golden Rule, yeah. that's also full combo. Yeah, basically full All combo. Right, yeah. Yeah. Sounds good. Yeah. So, two rubies, great card. Uh, the two garnets for the pure is the uh, mammoth and the cat. Okay. Um, the mammoth, quickly explaining why, is because it can out SP since SP, I'm pretty sure, is 1600. Oh, and yeah, it's it seven, is. This is 1700. So, if you zenith, uh, you can, if you zenith into this, you can basically out it very quickly, which is also a nice, great card because uh, you can save your resources that way. Yeah. And yeah. Also, and why cat over anything else? Uh, cat because one, funny enough, I have one games because you can attack directly with it. Oh, time? You can literally just normal summon, battle phase, attack directly for 1200, 600 damage, and be like, okay, I'm gonna stall out the game with some traps and stuff. All right, end turn. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Of course, you have to go second with this card, but of it's course. still sometimes very cheap. Yep. Yeah, so that's the pure. Let's go with the pure dragons. Let's just do two zenith. Yeah. Uh, Zenith is his other alter name, but it's Crystal Beast Rainbow Dragon. This is the two of them in the deck because sometimes uh, if people do know how to do the deck, they will ash this because as long as Rainbow Dragon is in your hand, you have full combo of like at most points. Yeah. But if they ash this, you are very vulnerable to like other hand traps, or especially Awakening, one of the best cards in the deck, is yeah. not live. So yeah, two is also pretty nice. And also, since you're playing the horror stuff, rank eight. Oh, fair, fair. Yeah, yeah you did that to me. Yeah. I'll be honest, I remember that. Uh, now we're going into, of course, the one and only Rainbow Dragon, Jesse's yep. ace monster. Nice, pretty QCRs. Yeah, QCRs. You need to be played two, right? Uh, two is recommended because at least you can resolve Zenith twice if necessary. Yeah. But since cards destroy a lot from your hand, sometimes people mill, especially Kashdira likes to mill, you need to run at least two just in case if one gets banished. Yeah. At least one. Okay. Yeah. yeah. You can run one if you do want to, but that's really risky. Like, really risky. Yeah. yeah. I wouldn't recommend it, but it does pay off sometimes. It's not drawing the extra brick. Um, advanced Darks, one Pegasus, one. One Carbuncle, one Cat, one Eagle. Uh, explaining right here, Dark Pegasus. I call. It, I usually call him Dark Pegasus. Search puts out one of these guys. Uh, Advanced Ruby. How she works is basically if it's in the back row alongside other Crystal Beasts, specifically Advanced Dark, you can basically soul charge it without having to use uh, Ruby Carbuncle, uh, Golden Rule, some other cards to basically unclog your back row, which is a great card for comboing. That's the, also the benefit about playing Advanced Darks. Yeah. Um, Mr. Eagle Friend, yeah, uh, he gets you Advanced Dark, the best yeah. field spell in the game. So that's basically the Advanced Darks. The Spice now. Alright, everyone knows this lineup, 3M City. This is where it gets saucy. So, the, whole, the reason why I play this horse engine is because one, 
uh, as you as I explained earlier, there's a lot of guards and stuff. Yeah. And at least, which I'll explain the extra deck soon, this can unclog your hands, search you out, mill your deck out, search your King, 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 King Sarcophagus to allow you to mill cards from your deck, especially uh, the bricks in your hand to unclog your, your board. Uh, it gets you the rank 8 uh, plays, it also gets you the, the rank 8s and the level 8s in the graveyard, yep. and so on, so on, so forth. Um, other Horus cards, pretty bright, pretty bread and butter. One of each. You don't want to run more than one. Yep. Each. Um, you can honestly opt to run only three names, taking out Happy, but sometimes you, with this lineup I have, you, you opt to end up on a, a rank 8 exceed almost guaranteed. Yeah. yeah. Space Standard Engine. Yeah, enough for the monsters for the main deck. Alright, next. For your Rainbow Bridge, this is the Stratos of the deck. This searches out basically whatever card you want. Yeah. If you go run three, then it's gonna be very hard for you. Um, Crystal Bond. Great, great card. Gets you one in your hand, gets puts in the back row. Yep. This starts off all the combos, which is great. Free Awakening. As I was explaining earlier, if you want to make certain cards live, you need Rainbow Dragon in your hand. Yep. And if you do lose your Rainbow Dragon, well, unfortunately, you're out of luck. Because yep. you can't get it back. It's very hard to get it back. This searches out your bridges, this searches out you, uh, your field spells also, which I'll hint out. Uh, this little special summons uh, from the deck, which is great. It's even better if you ha if you end on Rainbow Dragon and then activate this card because you have to get both the effects. Oh, okay, so yeah. sometimes this is like a combo ender. Well, of course, it really depends. Next card. Uh, the best card in the game, right here. This card is so, nuts, it does so many things. Yeah, so three things it does, and it explains all my points. Extra normal summon for Crystal Beast monsters. You can pop a Crystal Beast monster in your hand or field to unclog, and Rota a spell or trap. So your it can be your Golden Rule, which I'll explain after, your Crystal Bond, etc. Your Kami traps, so on and so forth. The best effect is basically when a Crystal Beast monster is placed in the back row it's by a Pegasus, by Crystal Bond, you basically get to activate on resolution to bounce a card. Yep. So if you see a big threat or some type of um, Omni that you want to pop and bait it out, easy, you just bounce it up, not an issue. And best part is, this card does come back in your hand and you can just replay it again. Yeah. Because it's not once per turn for activation, but the other effects are once per turn. Yeah. yeah. So it's a nice also another form of disruption for you right oh, like yes. not even going second to break boards but even going first if you're setting this up they're just bouncing your opponent's monsters as they're summoning it, oh right? pretty much if they special summon something on my turn like, okay sure i'm just gonna bounce back your hand and but at least it gets stuff off the field especially if bodies are important for decks yeah uh three golden rule the, this card this is the most crazy card to simply explain how what it works how it works so basically you basically place two crystal beasts from the deck and then basically special summon for hand or graveyard yeah it does not target and what confuses people is that oh it's an equip card you have to equip it to something but the thing is i might not have monsters in the field and be like okay uh i'm activate golden rule to place two crystal beasts very often question, but what are you equipping it to? I equip it to the thing that you summon. It can be a Crystal Beast monster, it can be an Advanced Crystal yeah. Beast, but as long as you have something to uh, chain it to, like from the graveyard or from the hand. Yeah. That's all that matters. But if you if you somehow lose your target, then it fizzles out. You have to, okay. it, to reveal it. Yeah. Great card in the deck. This is basically your monster reborn. Uh, also, I think with the Advanced Crystal Beast, a great combo ender. Yeah. Three King Sarcophagus. Of course. Why? Because um, I'll explain later, but sometimes you do want to have one extra in your hand or follow up but starting off with this with a bunch of bricks it's also full combo yeah, yeah. I, also just, was, I learned today this was four times i thought it was three but it's four no times. it's four times four names four times that's so crazy yeah. uh oh lastly crystal beacon uh beacon's a great one of target if you draw into it amazing sometimes you can search it off of rainbow bridge to get extra on your field yeah and yeah three foolish burial goods foolish burial goods this is to this is not a combo starter great to dump favorite card salvations what Salvation does is basically get into you to whatever the heck you want. Uh, the main premise of it is these two field spells, Advanced Dark and honestly, Secret Village is not necessary, but it's also a flex card. You can add Necro Valley, Zombie World, which I'll explain in the extra deck. Uh, my favorite right now is probably Secret Village because spell cards are very prevalent in the game. And um, we all love the card called Super Poly. And I've been Super Poly too many times where, yeah, I just lose my, I just lose game instantly because I lose my dragon, I lose my Omnis, yeah. lose possi so many possibilities. And also, so, little small thing, this makes everything dark, so it makes it more vulnerable if you do, so, do okay. somehow end on this. Yeah. I will say the other thing that I think you did during our game is you can pitch this, if you do draw it, it's kind of like a break. Yeah. But you can pitch it with the King Sark or anything else, and yeah. then you're just setting up combo anyways. Yeah, so the also nice thing is, basically, if you draw this in hand, there's only two ways you can get rid of it. Either 
Dugara's Draw, which I'll explain after, yep. or uh, Diamond Dire Wolf by setting it, Diamond Dire Wolf to detach, to pop uh, that one card in your field, yeah. basically set it down. Um, King Sarcophagus, basically you can just pitch it in the graveyard for free. Yeah. Plus two, not, not an issue. Yeah. Great card. Nuts. Two Crystal Miracles. Hard drawing ones also is also very nice, assuming they don't have no hand traps or full combo. Um, this is a hard Omni. But it's not once per turn. Yeah. So Nuts. if you have two of these guys and two crystal beasts, well, that they basically lose two cards. See something threatening? Easy peasy. Just get rid of it. It's very searchable too. Yeah. Yeah. Also, another underrated effect is basically if you do have a foolish barrier, you can also dump it. Uh, what it does basically if the crystal beast is placed in the back row, you can basically banish it to have an extra Pegasus effect. So it's also, oh, nice. it's also extra gas. Yeah. It doesn't come up often, but it's also nice. Uh, nine engine. I play a lot of two loves, two tactics. To get rid of Nib, some other funny cards out there. Uh, one droplet, because of course you have a lot of bricks. Brick boards that way. Especially the animals, what I like to call them. Yeah. Um, probably the best card to for defensive wise, Book of Eclipse, because it can be used to break boards, or also very prevalent right now is um, Infinite Impermanence. Yeah. Imperm is very good, such, such a good card. Play from your hand, negate. But the thing is, if these, if they understand how the deck works, they will often have to imperm uh, Ruby Carbuncle. Yeah. And if Ruby does not resolve, you are you are very stuck. Unless you have Crystal Beacon, you have some other gas pieces, yeah. you are stuck. So this also protects it because some most of the time you have this on the field, be like, okay, activate. They imperm it. Okay, so you book of eclipse to protect it from imperm since it uses target. Yeah. Soul charge your Pegasus, your crazy cards. And you sell full combo. Yeah, your full combo after that. And this is where also the extra deck comes in. Charts went after. So three for bin droplet. Two draw, combo decks. Uh, two ash. Okay. Yeah. So the reason why I like running run two of is because one, the whole deck is basically combo off and start you to draw. Dugara draw, Coach King, King draw into hand traps. Yeah. As much as possible. So you have full gas at, at half the time, and then you have uh, off the pieces. All the hand traps are the. Uh, what's it called? The Ash. Ash draw, inside pieces, and yeah. So. Yeah. All right, that's the main deck. 60 cards. 60 that's cards, baby. All right, the extra deck. This is where the fun begins. All right, starting off, um, Rainbow Dragons. 11k beat stick, 11k beat stick, and the baby dragon. Yeah. So. This one doesn't do much. It can end game sometimes, very cheesy way, but this is your cross cross sheet target. Yeah. So we sense placing fusion. Uh two. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to pull it off today because I opted to play one. But two, since honestly cash zero is becoming more prevalent, if they understand that this card does a lot of damage and they shuffle boards, they will use unicorn to banish it. And yeah. that's, that's your whole win condition gone. Because this game gets a little swing for game, yeah. not an issue. Yeah. We'll go with some of the starters or some of the basic cards. Uh cross sheep, this this allows you to revive Carbuncle back yeah. to allow you to soul charge. Everyone loves this card. Everyone's favorite rank like four, Saryuja. This is how I get into resources. This also gets me into other crazy cards. Uh, Pair up with uh, Saryuja is Zelantis. So Zelantis is here because this is requires a, a one effect monster, Link 4. Saryuja is a Link 4. So you can use Saryuja alone to get into this. Kind of stupid, but like... It resets your Sapphire Pegasus. Yeah, it resets my Sapphire Pegasus, but remember how I said that Book of Eclipse was used? So basically, you cannot link with face down cards, of course. But if you use Z Lantis, you basically flip these guys back up. To face oh. up face so you basically reset Carbuncle. Yeah. Sauce! You reset Sauce. Carbuncle, you reset all your other cards. This is another combo piece that allows you to reset your Pegasus. Nice! Yeah. It's also can be used to break boards because you, this is very complicated. But how I understand it is basically you can basically break boards as a reset your field, but also place your opponents. Stuff face down. You gotta be face up defense position or face down to the best defense position. Everyone's favorite girls, IPSP. Uh, you can end boards on this. You can use it as a bridge. SP Little Knight, great card, funny card. Yep. Everyone knows what this does. Banish it, target. But it's also good, really good for arrows, which I'll explain after. Of course. Um, Cherubini. Cherubini is really good for dumping out level 3 names. Uh, Amethyst Cats, the Carbuncles, all that. Um, this also is also great for Crystal Master, which yeah. I don't have, but I'll explain another time. Um, everyone's favorite girl, Appaloosa. Yeah. Uh, link, link 4, get rid of your field for free negates. Uh, Ib World Chalice. So as I was explaining about the arrows, Ib is really good for spellcasting uh, Secret Village. Yeah. Because one, it's a spellcaster and it's very hard to out because you cannot target it and you cannot swing into battle. Because yeah. It's undestructible by, car by when it's linked. 
So they have to actually physically remove it through uh, tributing, regeki, some other board breakers. Yeah. But it, co it will cost them a lot, though, to get rid of it. Now, Garus. Pegasus is a favorite friend to get into. Yeah. Uh, draw cards, revive, depending on the situation. Uh, sometimes you're opt to draw more cards because you since you're on the force engine, draw more cards is nice. Yeah. Yeah. Now the fun cards. Uh, send the run duo, run the horse engine, coach gang. Yeah. Great for time, draw more cards, dump cards. Yeah. It's an amazing card. Uh the rank eights are very flexible, but I like the and a whole harbinger. It's all, it's basically another army for spells and for spells. Uh, especially the bonfire is you know that one funny card that everyone loves. That's a hundred dollars at the moment. Yeah. The time of recording. Um, this can get rid of like board breakers like Raigeki. Sometimes forbidden droplet if they don't opt to put a monster. It's basically an extra army. It, it saves you a miracle. Saves you army truck. Yeah. You can also run photon lord. Any rank eight you any group. You're really your favorite rank eight. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Uh, and lastly. This is your mech himself, Typhon. Yeah, of course. Your Sapphire Pegasus turns into a big mech, so it's also great. Format tags. Format tags. Yeah. That's the extra deck. All right, so fifteen, and then uh, I guess technically the whole point was to show the sauce, but I want to see what your side deck is kind of looking yeah. like. Side deck. Um, honestly, it really depends on the meta, but I flex out a lot of cards. I've been playing around with Curry Kara since a lot of. There's a lot of bigger boards out there. There's a lot of things that activate on your turn. Yeah. So honestly, I like to clear boards out to just swing for game. Because yeah. sometimes your Crystal Beast and Curry Car are enough for game. Yep. Uh, I do side deck a Mist Dweller for, t for uh, certain matchups. Cool. Triple Tactics, everyone loves this card. Targets for it, evenly match for back row, Raigeki for whatever reason. Harpy Feather Duster. Thrust targets. Yep, thrust targets. Uh, field Spell options, Necro Valley, Zombie World. Flu. The Necro Valley is disgusting for every deck. There's so many decks. So many decks I run. I get. Some decks don't lose against it, but it's always inside deck. Probably. Yeah. Uh, prevalent now, Ghost Bell. And Nibiru. Yeah. That's really it. Just two yeah. more hand traps to draw into. Yep, pretty much. Perfect. Well, thank you for the deck profile. I, I I think this deck is nuts. I'm so interested in the Horus package. I think it makes so much sense on the combo version. And uh, 60 cards. I would never have expected it. Hey guys, so the video actually cut off at this point. I'm not too sure why, just the audio and stuff. But I do want to say thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Big shout out to Adrian for the deck profile. I think this deck is kind of insane and I'm really excited to be showing it to you guys. Now make sure to like and subscribe if you guys haven't already. And with that, Spanko signing out. Peace.